Welcome to this video and today we're going to learn how to make a very simple to do API and fast API. Making anything like a to do app or something related app is very common when we're learning a web development framework, especially when we're starting. And it gives you a great of um, doing also create, read, update, and delete. And that's what we're going to do today in this tutorial. Let's begin. So it's good just to have a new file, uh, main.py, and just to remember all the source code is going to be linked in the description below, which will be on GitHub if you need any reference. So let us begin with um, our first things. Of, of course, we need to import fast API. And I'm just going to recommend one thing is like in the beginning, I always recommend to have a virtual environment. So I'm just going to set that up. Just to know here, if you already installed fast API globally on your system, not in something like a virtual environment, then that is fine. That means you don't have to do a virtual environment since you already installed it on your system globally. Um, if you're in the same environment and you want to get a new one, you can set it up. Um, if, or if you're staying in the same environment, um, Fast API should be already installed. So first things first, we're going to import Fast API. So from Fast API, import Fast API, and then from we're going to also import Pydantic. From Pydantic, import base model. And then we're also going to import typing, which we did in, I believe, the second tutorial. Typing, import optional. We're going to all, and that's all we're going to import for now. We're going to import some other things for later. To start, we have to make our base model. So if we're going to make something like a framework um, or any to-do app, actually, for that matter, you're always going to make something related to a model, models, or fields we're going to fill in. So we're going to make a class, and this will be to do. And then inside, we're going to name this our base model. Okay, so our base model, our main model right here. So here we have our base model, basically the model. Everything is going to be inherited from this model. We're going to put the name. String. And we're going to just put the due date as, or we're going to put just due date um, extra notes. So we'll put it as a string. And then we're also going to put the description as a string. Then we have to create our instance. So app equal to fast API. And actually, you can even fill in. So we're going to put title, and this is equal to to do API. And we're going to do version, and then we're just going to make it version 1. Or actually, we'll keep this empty for right now. I'm just going to name it to do API. Um, this is a very simple API. This is only trying to um, get the important concept of doing create, re, update, and delete through Fast API. Now we're going to make something called a. Now we're going to make something called a, um, our kind of our fake database. Since we're not actually using a database, um, using SQL or even use or using an or um, or SQL or something like that or any database for that matter, we still need to make it um, work because it's not going to memorize it. Because even if we, okay, put an input, it has to store it somewhere. Now this fake database will not work for using um, something like a larger project, as it doesn't save um, in the way that a regular database does. It's going to be saved into a, a list. 
So when we just, um, we're gonna make name this our fake database. Well, we're just gonna name it store to do. And this will be stored inside a list for now at least. And well, probably in the future episodes, we will introduce using an ORM, a more object relational mapper, so we can use a database with this, like SQL. But enough about that, we're going to keep going. So we'll do at app.get. And we're just going to um, make a home page for this. Um, I usually just do this just to make a home page. Um, but you can skip this step if you want. So I'm just going to say return and hello. Wow. So this is um, what we're going to actually start with. So we're going to do an at app.post. Okay. This will be creating our to-do. And we're going to make our URL to-do. I'm going to do async. As remember, if I see pay is async. And then def. We're going to create our to-do. And we're going to inherit from our to-do model. So to-do is going to inherit from to-do. Okay, so to-do is equal to to-do. This to-do inherits from here. It's a class. And since we're and since it's a list, we have to we have to append it, okay? Add it. So we can do store to do dot append, and then to do. This is not the best practice, but this is an example for a very basic to do app. Nothing too hard. And then we will just return the to do, so we can display it. Now we're going to do some other things. So create, now we have to read, update, and delete. Technically we already have to read it, but I'm just going to um, need to do these two extra steps. So um, we're going to get, get um, one of the, I don't know if you want to display all to-dos to find all the to-dos you have, and then or just get one to-do to, to display just one to-do to make sure it, if it exists or not. Uh, um, from here we can do from typing um, import list optional. We want to display something in a list. So list because as this is no list. So we're just going to um, do extra step and get all the to do's. So we can say at app dot get because we're getting our to do. We can say to do. And like earlier um, we did response model and a response model is equal to list and then our to do. We have a response model here that we want to display our to do. So we want to display all of our to do's. So what we're going to do is async def get all to do's and then we're going to return our store to do because remember everything is stored inside the to do we're getting it our response model is our to do and basically everything is stored inside so we're displaying this then we're, um, now we want to just get an individual um, one, so an individual to do. And we're going to add something up here. This is a HTTP exception. Okay, so uh, try and accept exception handling and handling exceptions, basically those things. So... We're going to use path parameters for these, so at app.get, then to do. And then we're going to put id. So this will be known as our id right here, our identifier right here. And we do async def 
get a to do, so that is get to do. And their ID will be an integer. Okay, so an ID will be an integer. So this we have to put our try and accept here because I want if the number doesn't exist. Uh, we want to just notify that instead of just giving a write out error. So we do try and we just return the store to do and whatever the ID was and um, whatever is identified through there since our path parameter is uh, ID. An ID is int and we're getting a to do and our store to do um, has our to do's inside and whatever is e that equal to that ID that to do, it will display that to do. But if it doesn't exist, we're going to do an accept. So try accept. And we're going to raise an HTTP exception. Let's do an exception just in case it doesn't exist. Okay, we're going to put our status code as 404. And don't worry too much. This is just exception handling right here. Just basically just in case, again, as I said, just in case, um, you put in um, somebody puts a number that doesn't exist or hasn't been ex existed yet. I was to say to do not found. So enough with um, the getting, and all we have to do is update and delete. Now these things are pretty easy. Now we're gonna put put and delete. Okay, so at app dot put, and it's very similar from. We did last time so slash linux slash id we have to get the id and then we do async def and then we update the to do so basically we're changing to do we want to change it to do and this is id and this is an int and then our to do and then to do we're going back to our base model Try and then we do store to do ID and then this is equal to our to do. Okay, so we're getting it from there because we want to edit it and we can just return the store to do after we are done changing. And I'm just going to say copy this as this the accept is the same thing because as we're getting a to do and I will indent this for um as so we can read a little bit better and the last part of this um, to do is the at, at dot delete so a delete our to do so and oh I'm very sorry put Linux here it should be to do. Um, I didn't. Um, I, I I don't know why I accidentally put it there, but and then to do and then ID and then we do async def and then delete Linux and then ID int. So here we're gonna do also try and accept. But remember, as this is a list, so we're going to actually pop the item so dot pop method to just basically remove the item out of the list from our certain index because or id id or index so we turn now we're just going to name it our object now and our object is equal to our store to do and we have in our id inside and then we're just going to do store to do dot pop and then our id and this, we're going to return our object. Now this ensures it'll give an error or so, um, saying that it's not existed. Um, and which is a good thing. That means it was successfully deleted. And of course, if that to do is not found, then we just uh, do this. So we're going to run our server. So UV core main and we need to save. Unicorn main app minus minus reload. We'll open Chrome.
we have an error so we can't import name HTTP exception from Fast API because we have too many T's here. And then we will reload. Let's open Chrome. One. Okay. And then now we're on this page. Localhost 8000. Localhost 8000. And we're going to slash and slash where. We're just going to do slash docs or to do API. So uh, let us create the to do name and I'm just going to make it to do and I'll make it string string for that matter to do string we'll get the to do and then we're just going to put our ID and that equals zero it should equal zero as is in the list that works to do to do update to do let's try it out so and then we do okay zero as remember, as we're directly doing this, and we cannot actually put um, what it's changed here, we're just going to change the name to um, to do um, one or zero. And we'll actually put it, um, and we'll also put a description fast API. Okay. So when we get the to do, cancel, and then we try this out we execute it should change good and then lastly for our delete to do we try this out put zero as our index and okay it displays okay it deletes so when we go back to get the to do cancel we try this out execute internal server error which means the to-do was not found okay get back to our code so everything has been working good here and thank you for this video